friends. It's good to see you all again today. Today I thought I would share a couple poems out of one of my favorite books. This book called If Peas Could Taste Like Candy. It's a poem book by Crystal Bowman. Um, I met her one time. She's the author of this book and she just has a really creative style of writing. So I'm just going to share a few of them with you today. This first one is called Questions. And I know that we all have a lot of questions. Maybe some of these questions I'm going to read are questions that you have. Let's see. Where does the sun go after it sets? And how do fish get caught in nets? How does a rainbow form in the sky? And why are the stars up so high? How do birds know when to fly south? And why do alligators have a big mouth? Where do grizzlies hibernate? And why do owls stay up late? How does a caterpillar spin a cocoon? And how can a rocket shoot to the moon? How do spiders spin a web? And where do elephants go to bed? What makes lightning? What makes thunder? So many things just make me wonder. What makes rain? And what makes snow? I'll go ask God because I don't know. Have you had some of those questions before, friends? Yeah? Like, why do alligators have such a big mouth? I don't know. I'm going to read another one. This one might be fun to act out. It's about David and Goliath, and that's what it's called, David and Goliath. And there's some parts that if you um, hear me say that Goliath roared, maybe you can roar really big and loud. And maybe when I say uh, the giant was big and mean, you could show, show me your mean face or show whoever's at your house your mean face. There is a picture of David and Goliath. There's the big giant. He's fallen down. And there's David. So here's the poem called David and Goliath. Goliath was a bully. He taunted and he teased. Send someone out to fight me. Send anyone you please. The Israelites were frightened. They didn't want to fight this giant who was big and mean and known for strength and might. Goliath roared, but they ignored his deadly invitation. Then David, who was just a boy with bold determination, said, I will fight the giant. But I don't need a sword, a shield, or suit of armor, because I have the Lord. David found a few small stones lying on the ground. He put one in his slingshot, and he whirled it round and round. The stone went soaring through the air and bonged the giant's head. Crash! Bang! Goliath fell down. The mighty giant was dead. This story goes to show you that when God is on your side, though you may be a little kid, you're very big inside. And we do have God on our side, don't we? When we have God on our side, he promises us that he'll never leave us. He'll always be with us, just like he was with David. All right, the next one is a really funny one. It's called The Offering. And it's about when we're in church and we collect an offering so we can give our money back to the Lord, right? So I hope this has never happened to you before, but it's pretty funny. The offering plate was passed to me and I quietly put in my money. But by mistake, my gum fell in. It wasn't very funny. I tried to get my bubble gum back, but it was way too late. The person sitting next to me had passed the offering plate. I didn't have more bubble gum, so I was feeling blue. It was double juicy jungle fruit, my favorite gum to chew. My gum is gone forever. I must not moan or whine. But if the pastor gets it, I hope he likes that kind. I hope so too. I hope that never happens to you. I hope you don't ever lose your bubble gum in the offering plate. That would be terrible. All right, and I'm going to close with one about grandma. I hope that during this time you are 
saying some prayers for your grandparents and for older people from our church or from your neighborhood. Because just like you and I are supposed to stay inside, grandmas and grandpas are really not supposed to go very many places right now, right? To try to keep them healthy. So this one reminds us of what a blessing our grandparents are. It's called God Bless Grandma. Grandma gives me candy and she takes me to the zoo. Grandma bakes me cookies and she reads me stories too. Grandma doesn't get upset each time I make a mess. And when I ask for something, she always answers yes. She listens to my problems and she thinks I'm really smart. I'm glad that God made Grandma with a kind and loving heart. So God, please bless my Grandma and keep her safe and strong. And God, if it's all right with you, please let her live real long. We love our grandparents, don't we? We sure do. Thanks for hanging out with me today and letting me read some of these poems. I hope to see you again real soon. Have a great day.